Dwayne Lesnar back again with an OVH Cloud video on networking. We want to take a look on how you can quickly add a network to your deployment if you're maybe migrating servers or you want to deploy some desktops. We're going to show how to add the network and get it configured to our firewall as well. Let's jump in. In my environment, I already have a VPN configured to OVH Cloud from my on-prem. So we'll be using that connection to configure the Prism Central by adding a new subnet. Once we have the new subnet in Prism Central, we'll add a NIC from that subnet to the firewall VM, uh, which in our case is PFSense. And then we'll configure the firewall with the gateway of the new subnet. The gateway is always the last I configurable IP address of the CIDR range from our new subnet, and then we'll add a firewall rule to allow traffic to the existing subnet. So let's get started. So we're already logged into our Prism Central in OVH Cloud. So we'll go to our network and security uh, subnet section. We'll add our desktop subnet. We already have a server one created on VLAN two. Uh, base and infra zero and one are part of the default installation. So our current uh, PFSense will be de is deployed on the base. Uh, typically, you get an OVH gateway, and then on the infra is where our bare metal nodes, our CVM, and our hypervisor are located. So let's create an additional subnet. We'll call it desktops. Uh, we'll deploy it to the only cluster we have there, VLAN 5. We'll create a DHCP scope for it. And we have our subnet range and our gateway address. We'll add the pool. So the power of the VRAC in OVH Cloud makes this a really simple operation. So we already have our subnet. Now we go to our firewall and add the additional NIC to our gateway, our PFSense. So we'll hit update. We'll add the additional subnet. So here you can see the servers one that we've already added. Now we're just going to add the desktop. Uh, it can be DHCP. We do configure it statically uh, with the gateway address on the PFSense. So we'll hit next, next and save. <clears throat> and then once that's configured, we can go into our PFSense, which we already have uploaded here. We go into interfaces, assignments, so it's already showing up our new interface. So we can hit add, hit save, and save. We can give it a name. Enable the interface. We'll do static for the IP v4 configuration and then here we can give it uh, our gateway address which is 254 it's doing slash 24 and then we can hit save apply the changes and now we just have to add in the firewall rule So here we already have the rule configured for our server. So you want to do the same for our de uh, desktops. So we add a rule. <clears throat> we'll do source our desktop subnet. So anything from this subnet will be allowed to talk to our other subnets. Hit save, apply changes. So we have our firewall rule, um, then you can change the protocol on that if you want to open it more um, up later. And so now we're ready to use our newly added subnet.
I've already went ahead and deployed a virtual machine added to, to the desktop subnet. So now we can just go ahead and launch the console and ensure that we have internet access. So we have our web page up, do a search for OVH Cloud Nutanix. We looks like we have internet access. We can click on the web page um, and looks like we're good to go. So simple as that. With the main configuration steps being in Prism Central for OVH Cloud, it allows really any Nutanix administrator to get their networking up and running and so they can get started on migrating their resources. So in the next video, please watch how we migrate resources from on-prem to our OVH Cloud. See you in the next video.